guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So I literally just woke up and I thought I would do a little unbagging for you guys. Ipsy bag, that is. Unfortunately, this may be my last Ipsy bag. This may be just temporary, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this unbagging goes and I shall decide. So let's just jump right into it. But before we continue, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free. Oh, Ipsy. I think they knew it was my last bag, so they decided to send me the bag of all bags. I am obsessed with rose gold and this indigo color. Are you kidding me? And then it says, and off she went to change the world. Like, <sighs> I knew they would do something like this. Like, what? My last bag, and it's like the most beautiful bag ever. <sighs> okay, well, we'll see if the inside is any better. The first item in the bag is this huge box. It is by Disco Kitten and it is their Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. <laughs> it says, I do care. <laughs> That's pretty much. Disco Kitten is a gentle cream based peel off mask infused with diamond and pearl powder. It transforms from a soft white color to a brilliant chrome when applied to the skin. Peel it away to reveal a visibly tightened, radiant, and youthful complexion. That's what the inside looks like. Oh, it is pretty shiny. It does look very, very pearlized. All right, let's apply it. We shall wait and see the results. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and my face is very, very stiff right now. So let's peel this baby off. Okay, I peeled off as much as I could and so far so good. It, my face actually feels really, really soft. Uh, I'm going to go wash off all the little bits that are left behind and I will be back. Okay, so I washed everything off and my face feels very smooth and I don't know if it's, you know, because I read this about the mask, but I do feel like it created a little bit of like glow to my skin. So I, I really like that. It wasn't painful to peel off or anything like that. It was actually quite satisfying to peel off. I really like it. That was actually really cool. I, I had never tried a peel off mask like that before, so... That was fun. On to the next item. Okay, so we got a brush this month. This is the most beautiful brush. This says something Miss Glam Short Shader Brush. I don't know. I'll have the information somewhere around here. But I really like the two little diamonds here and the glittery handle and the rose gold. And even like the hair of the brush is like baby pink. It's so pretty. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and put on some foundation in my eyebrows and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have a little bit of foundation on and my eyebrows on, we can go on to the next item, which is... I'm gonna go for the other box in here, which I totally opened like a savage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it looks like a ColourPop eyeshadow, but it says Space Case Cosmetics and it is their eyeshadow in Messy Loch Nessy, like the Loch Ness the Loch Ness Monster? Loch Ness? The Loch Ness Monster? Yeah. Messy Loch Nessy. And ooh, it is a very, very pretty green shade. Let's see? Ooh. It's like a beautiful emerald. So I'm going to put this on using the brush we got in our bag. So I basically just smudged this eyeshadow on my lower and upper lash lines. Kind of created a smoky eyeliner effect. I actually really, really like this eyeshadow. I'm such a sucker for green eyeshadow. Green and purple are like my favorite eyeshadows to wear. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, the next item I can see is a little mascara. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this. This is the Maneater Mascara from Tarte. Oh, it's one of those spiky wands. These scare me. If you like jab this in your eye on accident, oh my gosh, it's so painful. But let's see. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but holy moly. Can you guys tell? Wow. And I'm not the biggest fan of these kind of wands because they hurt when I poke my eye with it. And I always poke my eye with mascara wands. 
I guess my eyes are too big, I don't know. But these types of wands always separate out my lashes really well, which I really, really like. All right, I am quite impressed with this mascara. I'm definitely going to be throwing this into like one of my purses because I love travel mascaras for that purpose. I always keep like an emergency mascara in my purse, but wow, I like it. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. So I think we have one more item in this month's bag. And this is by Jolie. I think it's J-O-L-I-I. -I. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so pretty. It's like a frosted glass. I really love frosted glass. And the gold top and then gold writing. Love it. And it says, let's see. Oh, the shade name is Focasso. Hmm, this smells nice. And it smells so familiar. I don't know. What it smells like oh wow that just was so smooth like butter this is like a like a dark dusty mauve purpley grayish brown <laughs> we'll try it on Whew. that is a lot more vampy than what i was expecting <laughs> this is a very thin liquidy formula so i'm assuming it's going to dry very very matte um i mean it says matte but i'm i'm kind of scared because matte lipsticks are usually very uncomfortable so we shall see and we'll do the kiss test in just a little bit but while we wait for it to dry this is a very unique color i don't have a color like this at all in my lipstick collection i don't think no i feel like the more i wear it the more i like it especially like in the fall time i can totally see myself wear this like all the time because it's very very vampy at least on my skin tone and so far so good it's actually very very comfortable all right so now is time for the kiss test mm, no transfer what nothing i love it oh my gosh all right so it's been about an hour um since i had this liquid lipstick on and i just had to update you guys this is probably the best liquid lipstick matte liquid lipstick formula i have ever tried in my life um this is kiss proof and it's matte obviously but it is not uncomfortable whatsoever i guess since the formula is so like light and liquidy it feels like I don't have anything on my lips. Usually I'm very, very, very sensitive to matte liquid lipsticks. I just hate how drying they are on my lips and it's just so uncomfortable and I just feel like ripping it off my lips. But this is so comfortable and I, I don't know, this formula is amazing. I'm gonna definitely look into this brand more because oh my gosh, I think I found my new favorite liquid lipstick brand. That's saying a lot. Oh my gosh, Ipsy did such a phenomenal job. Now I'm kind of regretting canceling the subscription. I don't know if I should resubscribe, but I don't know. I just absolutely love this month's bag and all of the items were just so impressive, especially since like when you think about it, it's only 10 bucks a month. If I were to choose my favorite item in this month's bag, it would definitely have to be the liquid lipstick and the mascara. These were amazing. I mean, I loved everything else, but like if I had to choose, it would definitely be these two. This was kind of Ipsy's last chance, I guess. I was like, if this bag is like a total bummer, I'm definitely not ever resubscribing. But this time the bag came in early, which it never does. It usually comes in like the last week of the month and the items were all amazing <sighs> why you do this ipsy why <laughs> maybe it was so amazing because it was during the best month of the entire year march my birthday month shout out to all those march babies out there no but for real these items were amazing um i guess i'm going to wait and see how the april bag looks like um i guess you know i follow them on instagram so i'll, I'll see if they have any sneak peeks and if anything looks interesting i might consider resubscribing but man ugh, this last bag was amazing i feel conflicted i don't know let me know what you guys got in your bag if you were impressed if you weren't impressed um if i should resubscribe i have no idea now <sighs> comment down below other than that please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye